We've been trying to get this fucking Mario PB. I've done everything that I can be to be the most pro gamer that I possibly can be. I've got the gamer keyboard, the gamer mouse. You know what I didn't have? The gamer chair, dude! Come on, how can I not have the gamer chair? You see the, this thing that looks all fucking cool? This goes like, boom. It's like a retractable lumbar support. My biggest gripe with chairs like this though, is I hate how the ass feels. Where your ass goes is just, it's always not comfortable. Honestly, I got this razor chair because of the sponsored concert I did. We're gonna pay you for the show and we wanna give you some awesome razor products. We're gonna give you a chair, we're gonna give you some products, and we're gonna give you some promotion. I was just like, okay, cool. I, I have a lot of chairs. I don't know if you've seen from um, the Joe Mama video I did. I have a lot of chairs in my studio, so I was just kind of like, eh, you know. Chairs not necessary. Don't necessarily need the chair. And they're like, yep, no, it's okay. We'll send you a chair. We'll send you some stuff. I'm like, I'm like, okay, d dude, it's, <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Like, yeah, they're like, take the fucking chair! <laughs> That wasn't pocket cocaine? No. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but I'm at the point where I'm just like, guys, I can't run Mario unless I have my pocket cocaine. Is that like pocket sand? Do you like throw it at people? <laughs> Beat seems more interesting than coke to be fair. Yeah, probably a good idea not to be addicted to anything. Wow, Mario. <laughs> There's something weird with the like camera there where Mario's hat was super flat. Jesus is the only thing I'm addicted to. You know, Jesus was hot. Are you addicted to coffee? Oh yeah, that's true. But that's legal. It's legal for me to be addicted to that. It's like alcohol. I'm trying to figure out like things that you can be legally chemically addicted to. Sugar. Sugar's huge. Breathing? Eh, yeah, I guess. Soda. Soda's very big, yeah. Sex. Eh. Sex addiction's tough because I think that like there becomes a stage in which I think to be able to satiate that addiction you have to do some illegal things. Gambling? Yeah. Pooping? Yeah. Vor. Nope. <laughs> sex addiction is a thing. It's more of an affection thing or something. No, it's sex addiction is definitely a thing. But I don't think sex addicts actually do it for the sex alone. I am searching my memory right now of how much I've researched this topic. Yeah, it's also a huge can of worms. There are multiple things that you can have for sex addiction. You can't really like chalk it up to like one thing. Sex is a very, very powerful dopamine hit, you know? We are literally designed to have that hit so that we can want to reproduce, right? You can be addicted to that hit and everybody has like different amounts of dopamine that hits them for different things. And some people, it's just really insane. You get addicted to masturbation. Yeah, addicted to porn, masturbation, sex. See, the thing with porn is like if you get addicted to it across the board pretty much inhibits your ability to have sex anyway which is really weird since porn is so like in your control you end up being in a relationship maybe hopefully someday trying to have a sexual relation with that person and finding that you can't actually like get off because the way that you've done this before is so based in control that you end up having things like you know erectile dysfunction and just all sorts of fucking problems because of it the obvious thing is just like oh you have porn addiction just have more sex idiot <laughs> Like, it's like, but then it just gets more complicated the more you, you do. As a dopamine thing, well, all addictions are dopamine things. If you want to boil it down to that, like, it's all about getting that next hit, you know? Get that instant dopamine from porn. Yeah, well, you can get that instant dopamine from heroin, you know? It's, it's all the same. Wouldn't abstinence be a cure for that? Uh, abstinence from porn, I guess. If I was the clinician, I would probably say like, which I'm not qualified to be, by the way, and this isn't actual doctor advice, whatever. When you want to, you know, have a sexual release, what you should do is uh, use theater of the mind situations rather than using porn or mix it up, you know? Do maybe one thing with porn and one thing without. Try to have a fantasy in your head. Close your eyes and you're like, man, Goku and Chi Chi had a fuck fuck, you know? All addicted to dopamine. Well, dopamine is so crazy because it's it's our it's our motivation, you know? Like that's what pushes our behavior in a certain direction based on like what makes our dopamine pop off. You have that and then you also have situations where it's like you might not be able to retain the dopamine that your body's producing. You might be uh, re up taking serotonin, which which that's why you have SSRIs, which stands for uh, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. All this shit, like neurotransmitters, they don't all do like one thing. Like they all like fuck with like so much stuff. Like serotonin has a lot to do with stomach stuff too, because your serotonin receptors are in your stomach or there are serotonin receptors in your stomach, I should say. Serotonin isn't really so much of, oh shit, I just had that serotonin rush or whatever. Like I think it's more of like, that's the thing that kind of stabilizes you. It allows you to kind of be in a state of feeling is my understanding. Being generally happy has more to do with your serotonin 
then dopamine is more of just like a bam, like whatever I just did was good and it feels good, but it's like a fleeting moment, right? In my understanding, dopamine is the temporary feeling of bliss that's there essentially to make you move toward a behavior. Whereas serotonin is how your emotions are regulated. When somebody's depressed all the fucking time, you give them a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, which makes it so that your brain and neurotransmitters retain the serotonin longer rather than reuptake them for more movement. Show what that activates. <sighs> Marijuana is strange because it's more of like, I would say it's definitely a serotonin kind of thing because like it's supposed to make you happier. I've talked about this before. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, jazz lettuce, even low strains of whatever the not super psychoactive version of it. I'm one of those people that I just get like super anxious. CBD, well, so you have you have the THC and the CBD and, and marijuana is like the, the mix. I think it's it's a miracle drug for some people. A high THC con content will have a much more psychoactive kind of like, whoa, I'm high as fuck. CBD has the effect of like, whoa, I'm just kind of like, I just want to be lazy and hungry and stuff. Depending on the mixture of it is how it affects you. And then how much your body is able to like maintain it. Pretty much, if you put like a drop of THC in my system, I'm just like, I fucking hate everything. I don't know why. And then CBD does nothing to me. Yeah, it's definitely crazy how much of a spectrum there is for weed and, and like how many different strains of it and like how you can change the, the content content of it and all this stuff. I don't know if it's emo mode. It's just like, you just want to sit on the couch and fucking eat Doritos or whatever and just watch movies and stuff. And like, you're okay with it. There's a lot to say about making weed more like available to people that shouldn't have it, especially when it was more stigmatized. I want everybody like not to be afraid to look into this stuff and actually like, even if it's something that scares you, even if it's something that like a topic that is just overwhelming to you, it's good to know about it so that if you ever find yourself in a situation that you're uncomfortable and being forced to do it or something, like know what to expect and like what you can do. Cause like, especially with weed, with the, you know, effects of like kind of driving anxiety and stuff, people like have an edible and think they're gonna fucking die. I mean, they don't die, but like, Imagine thinking you're gonna die, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't need drugs for my brain to tell me I'm gonna die. That's fair. First time I had an edible, I greened up super hard. And I got to, yeah, I've never done edibles. And that's mostly because everybody I've ever talked to who has done edibles said it was a terrible experience. And it was completely different from like what you would expect from like marijuana. I don't even like marijuana, so I know I'm not gonna fucking like edibles. I'm like, oh man, it hasn't kicked in yet. Cause it takes a long time to kick in. They're like, oh, like I could probably have some more, but then, then when it does hit you, it just fucking obliterates you. This edible ain't shit. That's like, that's that's the meme. Like, oh, this edible ain't shit. And then they have another one and then it hits them. And then the second one hits them and... Yo, shit's rad. Then shit's rad. Miss. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, the edible just hit Mario. Ah! You went to a psycho... <laughs> you went to a psycho sick concert? Damn. Actually, I have PTSD and weed and shit helps. Yes, awesome. Well, I'm glad you found that. If it's something that you think you can benefit from, definitely try it in a safe environment, you know? Have somebody who's also gonna be sober, you know, during it. But if I'm addicted to... Yeah, no, I'm absolutely addicted to speedrunning Mario 64. Every time I get a green split, that's a dopamine hit, my, 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 my boy. Vaping is a lot easier on the lungs for sure, but um, vaping is a little bit scary though, because like a lot of the time when you have like those vape pens and stuff, they're like so concentrated. That if you take one hit, you are like fucking flattened. I used to vape CBD as a, to try to alleviate my anxiety symptoms and it just didn't fucking work. I didn't feel any different. I would get like the strongest shit and just like hit it like one of those fucking like NFT bros. Just dude, it's so fucking sick, the blockchain. Dude, you know, you know who I'm talking about. You got a friend in me. 18 naked cowboys. You've got a friend in me wanting to suck cock. He's my brother Luigi. He's my brother Luigi. <laughs>